What's up guys? It is late February and I'm gonna be doing a little shed hunting. And while I'm at it, I'm taking the 22, walking around hoping to shoot a few squirrels too. Um, I have not legit squirrel hunted since I was like a kid, but it's one of the, the best pastimes I feel like. Um, some, I know like during the season, people give squirrel hunters a lot of crap because, and rightfully so, if you're tromping around during the rut, trying to shoot squirrels, I get that can be a little bit annoying, especially on public land. But right now, squirrel season's open till the end of February. And uh, it just makes walking around looking for a shed a little more exciting. So, should be fun, stick with me. Maybe I'll even find an antler. I have never found a, a shed antler in my entire life, which is just nuts. So hopefully that changes today. The, I'm walking around with the old Marlin semi-auto 22 caliber. Back when I was a young whippersnapper, I shot a lot of chipmunks with this bad boy growing up in Northern Wisconsin. And I'm also using this Primo Squirrel Call. Um, they can be kind of sneaky and just hang out in their nest and hide real well this time of year. So hoping to get into a good area. And... Get them to show themselves a little bit. Big hardwoods up in here. Looks like we've had a lot of something scratching up the ground here. Could be turkeys, could be deer, so that's a good sign. This is a great time of year to just do some scouting too. See old buck scrapes and trails and beds. It's such a unique year with, with no snow on the ground. I'm not sure if this is gonna make it harder to find a shed or easier because when there's snow, at least you can kind of see where the winter tracks are and stay on the general trails of deer. But right now an antler could be laying anywhere. slowing down and probably be quiet because I think there's squirrels around here and they're just being they're hiding real well look at this I just came across an old deer stand way back on this public ridge I'm gonna climb up and sit here and just be patient and see if any squirrels come out a shed antler around here on this ridge it's gonna be chewed to heck because I have seen a bunch of squirrels so far well I'm not gonna find any sheds by sitting in this stand saw a couple of squirrels go up over that way so I'm gonna make a move on them I feel like I'm a I feel like I'm in seventh grade again sneaking up on squirrels with the 22 I love it though. It's fun. Steep terrain. We've got a nice south facing bluff here with this whole valley below it. I feel like this is where a buck would want to bed. 
Gets a lot of sun. I'm gonna sit on this rock outcropping here. And there's glass for sheds and squirrels. Oh, yikes. Awesome to see one right at my level here. <laughs> Pretty good trail going up right here. Why can't there just be a big old antler laying? Turkey droppings. Love to see that. This is actually a spot right here. We had a camera over this scrape last year. Hunted this area a few times, saw some nice bucks, but didn't get close enough. But I had a lot of nice, cool video of a buck working this scrape. I'm realizing that finding a shed on these bluffs, man, they could be anywhere. And I also think that there's a lot of bucks still holding antlers because it has been such a mild winter. So I'm not going to waste my time anymore for today. I'm going to go walleye fishing. Um, but before squirrel season ends, in a couple couple days here, I'm going to try to give this one last attempt, knock down a couple squirrels, maybe find a shed on a different property, and... Uh, make a little squirrel pot pie which which is one of the the staples of us growing up in northern wisconsin that i always used to love as a kid so i'm gonna try that again well off camera i shot this squirrel and i'm showing you guys a deadhead that i found a few years ago i was actually trout fishing and came across this absolute giant deadhead But anyways, at this point, I'm gonna take this squirrel and clean him up, show you how to make pot pie. Got the squirrel cleaned up, now I'm just gonna cut the meat off the bones into little bite-sized chunks. Because I only got one squirrel, I also am going to be taking out some uh, turkey legs and turkey thigh. I'll use the turkey thigh meat to, you know, get some more tender cuts of that. I'm also making a soup with the legs. By the way, if you're a turkey hunter, stop wasting the turkey legs. Keep those. They make incredible soup. You just got to cook them low and slow or use the pressure cooker. But, yep, this is going to make a squirrel pot pie, squirrel, and some turkey thigh too, I guess. Speaking of turkey, by the way, check out this blade that I used for this. Made this homemade turkey leg knife. Pretty awesome little knife. <sighs> if you know anything about me, I don't let anything go to waste. Um, utilize all of the animal so that's why if I am gonna shoot a squirrel I'm not just gonna throw that away I also use the tails to make my own trout spinners which is pretty cool I think but yeah gonna keep this in the fridge next step is pot pie first step for the pot pie I'm gonna just cook some onions with butter and I've got the two cups of turkey and squirrel in this container. This is all going to be part of the filling for it. Add in the squirrel, and in this case, the turkey too. Got some thyme, salt, pepper. got the potatoes ready to go too. I'm eventually going to put those in to cook those also. While that's cooking, I just made some vegetable broth. Right here. Um, 
cup of that, and then eventually I'm gonna add that in a little at a time with the milk. I have my frozen vegetables. It says to defrost them, but all I'm gonna do to defrost them is put them in that warm broth right now. That'll that'll work. And I'll just pour that in. It's easier than dirtying another pan. Potatoes are simmering nicely. Woo. I'm gonna mix in a third a cup of flour in preparation for the roux when I add in the broth and milk. I think I said that right, roux. Babe, did I say that right, roux? Yeah. Nice. I'm just adding in a little broth. A little broth and a little milk, right? on low and blend together a little bit as we get the pie crust ready. Here we have Rachel rolling out a pie crust because I know nothing about making a pie crust. We're I know a good the, team. Yeah, we're a good team. I know how to shoot squirrels, catch fish, and grill things, but Rachel knows how to like make a pie crust for this delicious pot, pot pie. pie. Okay. Yeah, and you're gonna be okay uh, eating squirrel. You are aware, just a disclaimer, that this will be a squirrel pot Really? Pie. I'm stopping the crust. No, it's gonna be good. You'll love it. So fun fact, like a fond memory of my childhood, I, oddly enough, when, Rachel, I don't even know if you know this, but Your when, dad would make yeah, we'd always have squirrel pot pie as like a family staple. The highlight of it is Emma and I would see who gets the heart, because we would take the squirrel's heart and put that in there too. And then while we were eating the pot pie, it would be like, Whoever got the heart was like, that was the delicacy. You can have the heart. That, I didn't do that in this one, but okay. I mean, it's it was good. 400 degrees for 40 minutes. Rachel's got the crust looking at nice. Let me taste that. Is it good? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. All right, 400 degrees. You did an incredible job, honey. Thank you. I wouldn't have known how to do all that stuff, probably. I'm but putting it on this baking sheet because it drips butter. That's a good call. So, no, all right. Make as much of a mess. Forty minutes, and let it cool a bit, and dinner will be ready. Looks good. Wow, looks really good.